The CDC gave the green light to using the Pfizer vaccine in kids as young as 12, so that makes another 17 million Americans eligible for vaccination. And tonight, the American Academy of Pediatrics is out with a new advisory recommending the vaccine for all children 12 and older as soon as possible. One reason for that is children 17 and younger made up nearly a fifth of the nation's COVID cases in the month of April. Starting tomorrow, state run sites in Arizona will give the Pfizer shot to this new age group. And the big question becomes, will schools require the shot before students head back to class in the fall? Well, the answer for our state, at least for now, is no. Emma Lockhart joining us live from Phoenix with what parents should know tonight, Emma. Well, right now, the COVID-19 vaccines are only authorized for emergency use. So that is the reason the state health department says it isn't discussing adding the COVID shot to the list of vaccine requirements for kids to go back to school. But that doesn't mean things can't change down the line. Go for it. It's not painful at all. It's really easy. Tonight, Valley kids finally getting protected against COVID-19. Been in quarantine for a while and being able to, like, finally be able to go out. It's going to be exciting. While kids 12 and up now have the green light to get vaccinated, the state health department says at this time it won't be a requirement to go back to school. For parents like Lisa Edwards, the news is a sigh of relief. I think that's fantastic. The Mesa mom of three says mandating the COVID-19 vaccine is the wrong move. It's a blessing that it's available for those that want it. And for those that don't, I, I think that that should be respected as well. In Arizona, some vaccines are required for kids going to school, including shots to protect against things like polio, chicken pox and hepatitis B. But since the COVID-19 vaccine isn't FDA approved yet, the state is holding off on talks to add it to the list of required shots. I think without FDA approval, it was going to be difficult for any school district to enforce uh, a vaccine mandate. Still, health experts are pushing for all eligible kids to get protected. We may think that our children are immune or just won't get as sick. This is just not true. Peoria mom Allison Staten is eager to get her children vaccinated and supports COVID-19 shots being required down the line. My two younger ones have genetic health conditions. They aren't eligible for the vaccine yet. For now, she is hoping others step up to protect the vulnerable. People should think of others and especially the ones that are at risk. We can't just keep hiding inside where we exist. <laughs> And Pfizer is now asking for full FDA approval. Family physician Dr. Andrew Carroll says if it gets approval, uh, he could see schools having more authority to mandate it. Jared. Well, Emma, students, kids do need other vaccines before they go to school, like the MMR vaccine. So if parents choose to do this, can they just have their kids get all the vaccines, including the COVID vaccine at once? Well, doctors initially warned against getting the COVID-19 uh, vaccine within two weeks of getting other vaccinations. But today, the CDC says it is OK uh, for kids to get the coronavirus vaccine during the same time as getting other vaccines required to go back to school. All right, Emma Lockhart. Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's family. With the new guidance out tonight, Emma, thanks so much.